Welcome back for day 10. We're going to start a mountain pose. Feet are pressing into the earth, hip width apart, which is about two fifths. Our pelvis is tilted in, navel is pulled in, shoulders down away from the ears. Let's practice rooting and locking our pelvis. So we're going to pull it forward. So we'll exhale first. Pull the pelvis forward. Tuck it in. There we go. Okay, release. Let's try to pull in that navel. And then we're going to pull it, our stomach up and into our ribs. So exhale. Pull the navel in and up. That stomach, pull it up and through your ribs. And release. We're going to stand here in mountain pose. Tuck, pull that navel in, stomach up through the ribs, shoulders down. We're going to work on some balance today. Let's start with that tree pose. If you need a wall, feel free for that. Whatever your body is filling with. Balance is a weird thing. Some days we've got it and some days we don't. So whatever your body is filling today, if you want to just watch some of the movements and go with a version of tree or something that you're comfortable with, go for it. We can have hips here. Keep that navel locked in, shoulders down away from the ears. We can go into the prayer hands, pushing with those hands away from each other. Pushing against each other. I'm sorry, not away. Pushing with those hands against each other. Shoulders still down and away, navel still tucked in. Okay, we're, if it helps, you can just look at a spot and stare at it. That kind of helps with your balance. If you feel comfortable, you can raise those hands up high. Shoulders still down and away from the ears. Deep Ujjayi breathing. Pushing down through the earth. Your head is pulling up, making you tall, and relax. Get some blood flow back into that leg. Other side. As you feel comfortable, if you need to use a wall, go for it. Again, hands can be on the hips. They can be in prayer position. Soften your gaze. If you want to bring those hands up. Good job. Sometimes with balance, you have to lose your balance before you find it. That is just fine. Playing around here, seeing what feels comfortable to you. Shoulders down, all your foot. Pushing in. So we got the balls of our feet, the heel pushing into the ground. And come out. We're going to go to a horse. Our feet are wide apart. We're going to go down. If you don't feel comfortable going far, just go as far as you feel. We're going to try to go down and hands up. Pelvis is forward, tucked forward. Belly button is tucked in. Trying to get uh, my knee, the shin line, to be perpendicular to the ground. If you need to come up and relax, go for it. If you need to kind of wiggle out a little bit, that's fine. And back down. If you're feeling a lot of pressure on your knees, maybe don't go down quite so far. Deep breaths. And up. Okay, we're gonna, we're still already far out. We're gonna go into a lunge. So we're gonna just drop that knee down. And we're gonna move it to where we feel comfortable. And lean forward. If you want to put blocks down, so you can put your hands on the blocks, that's fine. Tuck that pelvis in as we lean. Should feel a pretty strong stretch. If you're feeling good, you can reach 
your hands up, maybe even not an exaggerated back bend, but just a soft gaze up with a slight extension. And slowly come out of that and turn sides. If it helps, you can start in mountain pose and then back your foot up to go in. If you're having a hard time feeling comfortable here, maybe you want to start in mountain pose, back your leg up, and then slowly work down to the ground. Pelvis is tucked in for that really good stretch. Notice I'm not having to lean far very for much. Because with that pelvis tucked in a line, you're going to feel a good stretch. Slowly relaxing, coming up to mountain pose. Let's take some deep breaths here in mountain pose. Your feet have even weight pushing against the floor. Not more weight on one side. Make sure our hips are aligned. We don't want one hip up. We want nice, even hips. If you have some imbalances, you might find that one leg is carrying more weight than the other. If that's happening, you want to really make sure you uh, get in with a doctor or someone who can help you figure out how to get your alignment correct because alignment that's off can create a lot of problems. All right, we're going to hold our hands up. We're going to do a little twisting now. So if you at any point don't feel comfortable, just scale it back to what you feel comfortable with, to what your body wants to do today. I'm going to hold this hand in front, and my other hand is going to go on top of the elbow. So I've got my right hand on the bottom, and my left hand, left elbow, sorry, is on the top. Okay, if that feels good, and that's where you want to stay, that's fine. Let me turn so you can see me. Let's not fall, don't collapse. Hold it up. Tummy's still tucked. If you can, go ahead and crisscross. Once you crisscross, you're going to really feel a pull in your shoulder. Deep breaths and relax. Switch sides. So now I'm putting the left hand under. Deep breaths, fighting for that. Keep that arm up. We don't want to let it fall down. Keep it up. And relax. All right, we're going to make this a little more difficult. Go with what you feel comfortable with. I'm going to take this leg, this left leg, cross over my right, and then I'm going to tuck it and balance. Still fighting for the posture. And I'm going to come out of it, switch sides, right leg over, and tuck. If you have tight pants, this might not work. So I'm going to need to use the wall because I'm not very stable. Trying to keep that navel in, chest up. All right. If that is something you want to just keep working on, go for it. If you would like to, though, we're going to add the hands with that. So cross the legs, cross the arms, and try to hold your navel in. Elbows tucked, shoulders down away from the ears, and release. We're going to try the other side. Again, if this is something you want to play around with after the video, switch hand side. After the video is over, give it a shot, play around with it more. All right. If you want to keep playing around with that, go for it. We're going to go ahead and end the day by laying on the floor. But if you've got time, keep playing around with that balance. Deep breathing. Relaxing your body. You are doing a wonderful job. This is day 10 
of prioritizing taking care of yourself so that you can then take care of others. And if you've missed some days, don't worry about it. Just hop in right here. These videos are going to be up, so if you need to go back and get a day, go for it. This is about you taking care of yourself and what you need at the moment. Only you know what you really need. Thank you for joining us. You have a blessed day.